Welcome back. We're going to carry on with lesson um, number two, um, and we're going to look at the properties of whole numbers. So I'm going to skip the things that we have already done um, on rounding off, and I'm going to go then to what we're going to do today. So with the properties of numbers, we're going to look at the commutative property of addition, commutative property of multiplication, associative property of addition, associative property of multiplication, the distributive property of numbers, and then the additive property of zero and the multiplicative property of one. Please make sure that your learners or your children don't need to know these words. They just need to understand the concepts. So the first example is where we have, we have five blocks here and two. So we can say five plus two equals to seven. Now what we have is we have two blocks and five. So we can say two plus five equals to seven. So that means five plus two equals two, two plus five. I want you to stop the video and quickly explain it to an adult. Okay, let's quickly look at commutative property of multiplication. So this is an array because we got columns and rows in a diagram and we can say two times five equals to ten. But we can turn this diagram and then we can say 5 times 2 equals 10. This means that 2 times 5 equals 2, 5 times 2. I want to, you to pause the video and explain this thing to an adult. Excellent. Let's look at the associative property of addition. Again, you don't need to know the word. You need to understand the concept. So what we have is we have two rods here. The first rod, we got 4 plus 2. And here we got three. So the one rod, we're going to put in brackets. Four plus two, that equals to six, plus three equals to nine. Here we also got two rods, but this time we got four here and two and three on this side. So we got four plus, where we have one rod, we say two plus three, that's equals to five. So four plus five equals to nine. This means then that in brackets, 4 plus 2 plus 3 equals to 4 plus, in brackets, 2 plus 3. I want you to pause the video and explain this thing to an adult. Let's go to associative property of multiplication. So what I have here is I have two layers, and each layer has got 4 times 3 cubes. So I write it as 2 times, one layer is then in brackets, 4 times 3. So 2 times 4 times 3 is 12 equals to 24. This example, I've got a rectangular prism and it's made up by 2 times 4 cubes. And we repeat it 3 times. Here we got the 3 times. So 2 times 4 in one 3D object, it equals to 8. So 8 times 3 equals to 24. So now what we have in brackets, 2 times 4 times 3 equals to 2 times brackets 4 times 3. I want you to pause the video and explain this, this then to an adult. I want us then to look at this example. So what we're going to do is we're going to make these um, statements true um, by completing it. I'm going to do the first example with you. So 4 plus 3 equals 2. 3 plus 4. 4 times 3 equals to 3 times 4. 4 times 3 equals to 3 times 4. In brackets, 4 plus 5 plus 3 equals to 4 plus brackets 5 plus 3. Then the next one is in brackets, 2 times 5 times 3 equals to 2 times in brackets 5 times 3. I want you to pause the video now and then do the rest. Welcome back. We're going to look now at the distributive property. And what I will recommend that you do this a similar drawing on a piece of paper. So what I have here is I have five different shapes. Sorry, I've got four different shapes. And each row's got three and two. Three green ones, two 
white ones. So what I'm going to say is I go to say 4 times 3 plus 2. So 4 times 3 plus 2 in brackets. Then I go to say, because 3 plus 2 is 5, I go to say 4 times 5 equals to 20. I go to use, do the same, but this time I have it on a grid. Um, let's just do this. So we have our drawings similar. Um, let's go and find that green. Uh, let's just make it the same green. Okay, so now what we have is, here we have a rectangle and a rectangle in a bigger rectangle. So what we're going to do then is, I just go to re remove this so you, it's easier to see. So what we're going to do is, we're going to say 4 times 3. And this side, we're going to say 4 times 2. We're going to say 4 times 3 equals to 12. And 4 times 2 equals to 8. And that equals then to 20. So let's see what happened. What happened here is I took the 4. I multiplied it with the 3. Plus, I took the 4 again. And I multiplied it with the 2. So then we can add it. And this is what we call the distributive property. So what I want you to do is I want you to look at these examples then. So what I'm going to do is i quickly going to close these ones. Let's go back to our blue. I'm going to close these ones and I want you to pause the video and then do them. Welcome back. Let's quickly look, check your answers. So what you're going to do is you're going to check your answers um, and then see how you did. Well done. Sorry, let me just go then to example four. So example four then means if I add zero to any number, that number will remain the same. So 50 plus zero equals 50. 3,456 plus 0 equals to 3,456. If I multiply a number by 1, it will still stay that number. So 65 times 1 equals to 65. 87,340 times times 1 equals to 87,342. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and give me two examples where you add with zero and two examples where you multiply with one. Well done. Let's quickly go then. So for this activity, you're then going to do question number three and four. And lastly, question number five. You're also going to do the problem solving. And then to end off the lesson, you're going to look at the second and third point. You're going to click yes or no. If you click yes, we will carry on with the next lesson. If you click no, you need to revisit or revise certain questions or you need to contact us at SA Teacher.